All right, in this Tobacco University video, we're we'll investigating two scientific articles that will help us address the topic of determining the chemical profile of cannabis via HPLC and HRMS methods. We'll learn about what each of those is in more detail here in this video lecture. So starting with the first reference article here, again, with any reference article, I try to give you that first page, the proper citation, and a direct link there. So you can go investigate it further if you wanna look at some more of the details. So looking at cannabis variability, and that's kind of where these methods are looking at kind of trying to assess that, the variability within cannabis in general. So cannabis strains significantly vary in their chemical compositions. The concentration of cannabis compounds depend on the plant's tissue type, the age, the variety, the growing conditions, such as nutri nutrition they're fed, <clears throat> the humidity and light levels, harvest time, storage conditions, as well as many other things. Analyzing the chemical content, the plants uh, is of major importance, considering that the concentrations of these constituents and their interplay may determine medical effects and also potentially adverse side effects. So getting a good idea of what the actual compounds are present is uh, well worthwhile. So what methods we go through to evaluate those. So we have two presented here. We have the uh, gas chromatography, or abbreviated GC, and we have uh, HPLC, which stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography. So HPLC resolves the threat of the um, phytocannabinoid decomposition as a result of the heating compared with gas chromatography. We also see kind of a great little quick com comparison here. HPLC can be directly applied for fractions of extracts and to uh, separate pure compounds, unlike the gas chromatography. Fractions of extracts are of high importance in medical research and for structure classification. So this is why typically when we're comparing the two, overall the HPLC is typically favored over the more traditional uh, gas chromatography, particularly or especially in related to cannabis. Continuing on to another research article, if you want to look at some more information, again, same uh, reference link and copy of the first page here, if you want to look at this one in more detail. And this is where we're looking at the kind of the, oops, the comparison of extracted ion uh, chromatograms here. And we, what we see is these kind of like chemical signatures, where liquid chromatography methods coupled to um, high resolution mass spec detection. And this is where we get the HPLC HRMS that um, high resolution mass spec is what HRMS is standing for. These have been developed for the identification of different cannabinoids in cannabis medical extracts. The HRMS technique can define the cannabinoid profile of cannabis end products, which is very important. Current focus is on the main cannabinoids, such as CBD and THC, along with some of the other, quote, minor cannabinoids, which contribute to the final beneficial effects. So having these or knowing these, a very precise measurement here, so we can see looking at some of the differences presented uh, in that research study that I cited before, and this is a great way to develop this kind of a detailed understanding of what is actually in uh, that cannabis plant, what it actually has produced. Now the macro to the microscopic views, as we kind of can see in the example here, uh, the leaf of a typical cannabis plant, if we zoom in, uh, or say the leaf of a typical cannabis plant, then we have that zoom in version here with the magnifying leaf showing the individual trichome structures. Then we have the a surface swab of that leaf conducting right here in the lab, and then the mass spec of that sample collected. So this is kind of the general process of how we go about sampling that plant and developing those very uh, particular uh, mass spec graphs there. This would be the process that would be utilized, and as you can see, it's actually taking direct samples from the plant and getting an exact kind of profile, which is great when we're looking at trying to evaluate what compounds, particularly cannabis plants may, or may not be producing. 